I'll quote film you the High Court case. Me, when a statute prescribes that there must be reasonable grounds for stealing mine, it requires the When a statute prescribes that there must be reasonable grounds for a state of mind, Gordon, it requires Gordon. the existence of facts. Gordon, Gordon, everyone, Gordon. Just that the Please provide the facts to verify What's your, your name? belief okay. that I'm committing an offence. What's your yeah. name? Show me your licence. Where oh, you is the way. facts What's your name? Right, that I'm 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 an offence? Where are the facts? Your What's your name? What's your address? I don't have to speak to you unless your I'm on the address. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Push my hand. Okay? And I will not Your name? Your name? Badge number? 41942. So I couldn't get that? 41942. Thank you. Your name, please? Excuse me, what's your name? Hustle Brennan. Your, your number? Thank you. There is no arrest, I don't have to speak to you. I won't be speaking to you. Yeah, so where do you live? Don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. Embarrassing, you guys do. Embarrassing. Oh, you guys got to get a gun, you think you can bully me? Fuck me. What's this intimidation? Why is everyone here? None of your business. And make sure we get all of this and show how they treat people. You need reasonable grounds. It's the High Court case, George versus Rocket, 1990. When a statute prescribes that there must be reasonable grounds for a state of mind, including suspicion or belief, you said belief, it requires the existence of facts which is sufficient to induce that state of mind in a reasonable person. Okay, DPP versus Hamilton. I have no obligation to speak to the police unless I'm already under arrest. You guys don't know your what the law is. You should not be being directed by the, the government. Okay, it's inconsistent with Section 51 of your own Act, the definition of a constable at common law, and it says in your own Act, Section 51, that you're a constable at common law. Also, acting under dictation, being directed by the government is against one of the High Court cases, R versus Commissioner, the Metropolis of Police, ex parte 968. It's against that. Acting under dictation. Is how we get a dictatorship it's against the law. I think you need to back off. You have no idea about the laws. No idea. The police last night. There is no reason for you to, to, to be stopping me here. You're a breach of the peace, and I'm asking you to step back. None of your business. What my name is. I don't talk to you. I would not. Talk, I don't want to talk to you about any of that stuff. I'm not going to share any information with you. I don't trust you. You're not trustworthy. And I want you to step aside. Yeah, so I believe you're committing an offence. Based on what? Because I believe you're outside your five k. Based on what? There has to be facts, or your belief is not valid because at all. You're not giving me anything else. No, that's an assumption. I don't. I'm under no obligation to speak to you. That's a, that's an assumption. I'm under no obligation to speak to you unless I'm already under arrest. Okay. So to say because I'm not providing evidence to you, that is in conflict with DPP versus Hamilton. Okay. Supreme Court. Uh, Supreme Court case. No, you're right. Buddy, yeah. know your rights. Know your law, know your rights. You arrest us, we'll take you to court and sue the shit out of you. I've told you that I'm not going to share any information with you unless I'm already under arrest. And in order for you to have reasonable grounds for that arrest, hello everybody. Name, numbers, name, numbers. Where's the social distancing? I know. Social distance for me. Name, numbers. Name, numbers. We'll see all you monkeys in court. DPP versus Hamilton, which apparently you guys all learn in the academy and you should have learned that in the academy yeah, right. i've had to learn that because of what you guys are doing you so don't know the law so where about you guys come from today it's none of your business, no, business. So you, you're going to give me anything or... You just, I'm not going to give you anything. I don't want to give you anything. I don't want anything from you and I don't trust you. I don't like you. I think what you're doing is so a vile, vile action against the people. So and I think it's the decide. None of no, your business. Yeah. You know, you can talk to them, but but you know what? You're not going to, you know, we're not going to talk to you. We don't want to talk to you. Are you aware of the Chai directions? No, the directions. It's, it's the directions. It's because I'm not going to talk Are you to under you. direction from the Chai? Yeah, so I'm talking yeah? to him. No, I don't care. You're, you're talking to us. Direction. You're talking to him. You're talking to all of us. It's inconsistent with the uh, definition of a constable, which is which is section 51 of your act, says the duties and bowels of a police officer, section 51 of your act, you should know this, are as a constable at common law, and the definition of a constable in the Lexus Nexus legal dictionary, which is the most prominent legal dictionary, says a, a police officer has independent authority over their office and that they cannot be directed by the government or senior police. Okay, you're being directed by the government, that's what acting under dictation, that's systemic failure, and the fact that you don't know that shows that there's systemic failure in the system. You should know that. Yeah. You should be doing your job properly, okay? You're talking about his life, you? You should be arresting, you should be arresting the police. Uh, not, uh, the police the details you're talking about his IQ, Nick. I don't, I, don't, I don't have to give you anything, and I know that. Based off what? Where's the facts? Which we go? 
got, have you guys got the Indian variant? Have you got the Indian variant? You're trying very hard to fish for something so you can create a controversy. I'm not going to let you. Now, if you do arrest me, even if you were to find that I was wrong, you would actually find that you didn't have the grounds in the first place for that arrest, and it would, it would be unlawful in the first place. That's why I want to have this conversation. But I don't want to have a you conversation. You don't know how to converse, you. buddy. You don't. You're not answering a single question. You're all day converse with you. That's what you want to do. Yeah, no, no, no idea. Idea. Be, Well, then you need to step aside and let me go, and if you don't, that'll be unlawful deprivation. No, so and I'll take the cleaners for that. No, so Unlawful deprivation of liberty. Yeah, well, then you need to step aside. No, I'm not Am I under arrest? Am I free to go? I'm not going to step aside because I'm uh, Do you answer that. questions? You've got a code of conduct. Your own code of conduct says that you need to respond equitably to the uh, to, to the, the members of the public. Now, I'm asking you, am I under arrest? Am I free to go? You're not free to go. So I'm under arrest. Okay, so I'm trying to. No, 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 you no, said no, it. No, I'm under arrest then, aren't I? If you refuse to give me your name and. Address, I don't have to give you any any name and address. Do, I don't. I believe you committed an offence. But there's no, there's no <laughs> merit to your belief. There's no offence, there's no law yet, dude. Seriously. Not, I'm not We're guilty until proven innocent. Far out. I'm, I don't have to give you facts. It's, you're you're all under the economy. All of you are joke. Guys, guys, I'm under no obligation to speak to the police unless I'm already under arrest. That's the Supreme Court of Victoria. The High Court of Australia says when a statute prescribes that there must be reasonable grounds for a state of mind, including suspicion and belief, it requires the existence of facts which are sufficient to induce that state of mind in a reasonable person. I'm a reasonable person. Where's your facts? And don't say I'm not giving you facts and that gives you a that, that no, proves any point like because I don't have to give you facts. Because the Supreme Court of Victoria says I don't. But the High Court says you, without the facts, have no reasonable grounds to verify your belief. So I just want to know how you can uh, you can be you, you can be detaining me here without giving me any reason as to why. Victoria Police overstepping their authority. Oh, is there someone else with are you are you are you replacing tag team effort? I just, just listen for a moment. Well are you gonna engage with us and answer our questions? I'm gonna engage with you. Thank you. If you'll just listen to me for a second. By being here today, you're in breach of the chose directions, alright? So you are risking Don't recognize them. you are risking being arrested by the police. We are happy to arrest you if we have to, but we would prefer to give you the opportunity to leave now. Okay? So we're being fair to you giving you an opportunity to leave. Otherwise, otherwise, you will risk being arrested. Is, is the, just listen, is just listen, the, just listen okay. What's oh, your name? What's your name? Sorry, this is what my name is. We're trying to be civil. Yeah. No, no, you're oh, you're threatening to, to arrest us no, under under a gun. No, no, I think, I think <laughs> then, then, it's, it, then we have very different definitions of what civil is. We're giving you an opportunity. This is civil? This is civil? This is civil? Oh, the goons! Hello, goons! Is this civil? Oh, that's civil? Excuse me, is that civil? How civil is that? You've got it, it's irrelevant. You don't have the grounds for it in the first place. And well, I know we that. We're not going to argue about that, but we do. Well, well okay? you don't. And we know you don't. So it's going to be if you're confident enough, because I'm already I'm already going through the police conduct unit. You know, I'm already setting up another you know case against the the PSOs and arresting me in the past. And yeah. if you do it, if you do it. We're you know, more, Justin see. Goldsmith, Inspector. Yeah. Okay, Justin I'm Goldsmith. Go, we're more than. And what's your badge number, number Justin? Arrest, okay. Two nine six zero one. More than couple couple to make the arrest. We are giving you an opportunity, five or ten minutes, to leave the area. Okay. So you've been given plenty of warning. Could we not be surrounded then by all your all your it's squads. Intimidating. Doing well, uh, this is civil. This is civil. Look yeah, how civil. This is civil. What is Look how civil this is. What, what we, what we That's really civil. That Hello, Hollywood. Follow the law. Police that don't, uh, don't uh, they don't follow their own Victoria Police Act. Police that um, that act under dictation, which is how you get a dictatorship, and it's against the law to act under right. dictation. Do you understand the direction that I just gave you? I don't stand under any of your garbage. Do I'm you understand right it? Right now. All right. I'm not and you'll be given five yourself. or ten minutes to move on. I think you need okay. to move aside. You've been given plenty of opportunity. Otherwise, opportunity, you're just being arrested. Opportunity to, to uh, you already uh, Let's walk. <laughs> Have you got the Indian virus? Look how civil that is. That's how you deal with police. You stand your ground. All of you constables, constables, constables breaking the law. Every single one of you breaking the law. Breaking the law, you bunch of goofballs. Hello! Did you get